Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the DC Multiverse Earth 32 uh, Green Lantern Batman. That's what I'm going to call him. But here's what he looks like in the front here. Here's the side. And then here's the back with that card uh, art there that you get with the uh, figure. Nothing on the top, nothing much on the side here either, and not much besides the DCPI at the bottom here. But besides that, let's crack this guy open. And here's Batman out of the packaging here. So he comes with some accessories here. So first, let's go over his card. So here's that. Like I sh It's the same picture that I showed on the box. Um, and then here's the back. If you want to pause and read it, you can. Um, like I said before on the other ones, this one's more flimsy than the other ones. I like, I'm more, I like the harder... Uh, like more thick cards, like throwing cards wise, or throwing cards quality, I guess. But I'm not, I don't throw them, but it has a higher value than that to me. And then it comes with this like little bat um, lantern thing. I like it a lot. It has a lot of texture, uh, transparent green plastic, and it's somewhat soft so you can bend it but i'm not gonna be doing that really because i don't want to accidentally break it but they did a really good job it looks like it, it is a bat but they did a really good job on detailing and stuff for it so i like it a lot and then it comes with this little display stand so it has the little dc logo right there it has a peg right there so you can put his foot in it if you want and it has this like a little slot so if i turn it this way and this is supposed to slide in just like this. So I'll show you. You just want to try to fit it through there. And I think it should click. Yep, just like that. And then you can pivot up that far, down that far. Uh, and then it doesn't do rotate, but it's a clamp. So it's click clicked ones. So it should be able to hold him. Um, but besides that, that's all he has for accessories, so let's go over him. So let's start off with the face first, or head. So it looks, he has the Batman molded, or cowl going on there. But the face, he look, kind of looks like a zombie, I guess, like that. I don't know the whole, I don't know the story about him turning into the Green Lantern. I don't understand why he looks like a zombie like that. I like what they did with the like adding the back towards his ears or something like that. But I like the detailing for the face. It looks scary and he's smirking. I wonder if that's like his lip got blown in half or something. I don't know. I don't I don't understand it. Um but they did a really good job texturing. I like the green that they used and the different type of green that they used for like the little other pieces. Really good job uh nice mold. You get the Green Lantern um, logo there with the bat symbol. Um, you get this little belt here, utility belt, and then all these wires going on, his gadgets. He has these cool gauntlets, green hand. Not, nothing real special about the hands here. Um, but this one's for grabbing. This one's just punching, and it has the ring on it. So that's the one that he has the ring on. For the arms, they did a really good job on the mold too. Um, and let's go through the legs here. So also good job textures there. I like that one a lot. The boots look real cool. And yeah. So that's all I've got for the looks for him. So let's go over his articulation. So his head can move down that far. His head can not really move his head up that much. Mainly because I think this kind of get this kind of like restrains it from doing that. So it's kind of hard to do that. Uh, he can look right a bit like that and then left 
also because of these, but you can still get them to look like that normal. But if you go farther, it's gonna, it's not gonna look normal, but I mean, it's not a big deal for me. So your shoulders can move up past 90 degrees. He has 360 rotation, but this like little pad area right here kind of gets in the way. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. And if you want to like rotate it and then switch into side to side wrist, you can do that. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and then he has a ball joint at the top. So you get him to go forward, not much. Backwards, not much either. You get him to go side to the other side and he has another ball joint at the hip so with all of them going still not much of a difference going forward uh going back is not a big problem and then side pretty good and the other side really good uh you could kick out almost to 90 degrees not quite there he can kick forward just a little but that's kind of because the hip part kind of gets in the way uh backwards quite a bit uh, no thigh cut like Marvel Legends. He has double jointed knees. So you can need to go like that. Uh, no boot swivel. His ankles can hinge. Oh, yeah, it's like the wrists. I didn't actually figure that out until just now, actually. So his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Um, and an ankle pivot there. And like I said, it's like the same thing with the uh, the wrists here. Um, and then he has his toe joints here, so go back that far and goes back to normal. But besides that, that's it for articulation. And here he is on top of the display case. I mean, display here, not display case, duh. But I like how he looks like that. Uh, I think you're supposed to just wrap the bat, uh, bats around his arm like that, I think. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know if there's some other way to do it then let me know but i'm pretty sure that's how you do it just wrap it around his wrist uh like one of those effects on marvel legends like the lightning effects um but besides that i think this guy's a really cool figure articulation is really good i don't know much about the story so i don't know why he looks like a zombie um but i think this guy is awesome and looks really cool is a different batman for me for sure so if you guys know more about this like let me know in the comments but i think he looks really cool i don't know how the story is but if, it, if you guys let me know if it's good or not good i might try to look it up or something but besides that that's it all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you check out my buddy's instagram page at highlight photos he does really cool photos also my two best friends that i usually play call of duty with sometimes with other games they have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.